Welcome back to the Fast Break Kids, the show that puts respect in disrespectful. I'm Wiley Lewis here with my week 12 picks. Now, a good week last week. I did well after the rough and tumble week 10. I went 10 and 4 last week, uh, putting my total up to 93, 66, and 2. So things are looking pretty good so far. Now, here's the here's the deal. Can I do it? two weeks in a row? That's the question. Let's find out. First off, let's start with Thanksgiving. Happy holidays, by the way, everybody. It's a wonderful time of the year. Sports are really, you know, football's really kicking into gear. They're on the playoff run, and um, the weather's starting to cool down. I live in Tucson, Arizona, so it's getting to be just right. Just right. So, uh, let's get started with Thanksgiving games. First off, Minnesota, Trevin, the Traveling to Detroit, um, I, I, this is the weirdest division because you know at the beginning Minnesota gets off to the quick five and zero start. It looks like whoa, Minnesota doesn't need Teddy Bridgewater. Minnesota doesn't need Adrian Peterson, but now we're looking at the worst rushing offense in the league, and we're looking at an offense that is sputtering. Now they won last week. Uh, they beat the Cardinals. And thanks to 100-yard pick for six, and uh, I believe it was a kickoff return for a touchdown. So it wasn't really the offense scoring all those points, but you know what? At this point, they'll take anything they can get. Uh, the Lions, sitting there tied with Minnesota at the top of the division, the Lions are just on a roll right now. And granted, they should have won. They should not have won against Jacksonville last week, but hey, I've been saying that the whole year with Jacksonville. They should, they should, Jacksonville should have around six or seven wins, but hey, they don't because they can't finish games. That's their problem. Um, I'm going to take Detroit. I like Detroit at home. It's Thanksgiving. They always do it this year, so it's, it's not like they always do it this time of year, so it's not like Detroit is doing anything strange or out of the ordinary. They're playing on Thursday on Thanksgiving. I like the, I like the Lions. I like Matthew Stafford. I don't really like their run game because there is no run game. But this team knows how to win at the end of games, and so I'm going to take Detroit over Minnesota. Washington travels to Dallas. Dallas. The Dallas is just unstoppable right now. They're nine and one. Uh, they look like a team who is built for the playoffs. And Dak Prescott, I know a lot of people have been saying Dak Prescott should be mentioned for the MVP. He should be mentioned. But I don't think he should win the MVP because, listen, people, that offensive line is the MVP. It's the offensive line. And, you know, people really don't watch the offensive line when they watch football. I mean, subconsciously, they are watching them because they have to start the play at the center. But you don't really notice it unless it's bad. You don't notice a good offensive line unless it's terrible and the quarterback's getting sacked. When they're really good, they you kind of really don't notice. You just notice the running back getting all these open lanes and the quarterback making beautiful throws. But the offensive line is the key to this team, and that is the, and that is the right way you're supposed to build an offense. You have to have a good offensive line, and that's what they have. And now they've built all around that. They're young, they're talented, and Dallas is just, uh, it's a runaway train at this point. And I don't think Washington is going to slow them down. As good as Kirk Cousins has been playing lately, and he has been playing good, I like Dallas on Thanksgiving. It can be weird. It's Thanksgiving. Weird things happen on Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm, I'm sticking with Dallas. Uh, finally, that night, after those two good games, we have kind of a, I don't know, it could be a stinker, people, okay? We've got Pittsburgh traveling to Indianapolis, and let me tell you, 
Andrew Luck has been in concussion protocol, and at this point, I don't know if he's going to play or not. It's pretty early in the week. But the backup for the Colts is Scott Tolzien. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wiley, who's Scott Tolzien? And I'll tell you. I don't know. He's a guy who he used to play in uh, Wisconsin. And that's it. I believe he was drafted by the Packers. Never did anything because he's Scott Tolzien. Never needed to do anything. Well, he might have to on Thanksgiving, and I don't trust Scott Tolzien. I don't trust the Colts in general, but the Colts without Andrew Luck? Oh, this could be really ugly, even though it's inside the RCA Dome. I think it's still the RCA Dome. Uh, no, it's Lucas Oil, isn't it? Luke Soil. Um, moving forward, after Thanksgiving, uh, we've got Arizona playing at Atlanta. And as much as I want to take the Cardinals, as much as I want to still believe in the Cardinals, it's really hard to trust the Cardinals at this point. Things are just, it's not going their way this year. Even though I picked them to win the Super Bowl. And I apologize to Arizona fans everywhere, because that might be my fault. Josh and I both picked them. We could have easily have cursed them. I believe we said that. We sure, probably yeah. cursed them. Okay, and who do you think wins it all? Oh, Arizona. Arizona. Okay, so we're both taking Arizona to win it all. So Arizona is not going to win it all this year. Clearly not. I feel bad for my father. I've just sorry. completely jinxed his whole team. Randy, I'm sorry. Um, so, uh, yeah, for those of you who, are, who like to gamble... Probably shouldn't bet on Arizona. Um, so we apologize in, in advance. The Fast Break kids apologize for that Fast Break curse. Um, I'm going to take the Falcons at home off the bye. Um, Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, just as always, just bombing it all over the field. Uh, Jaguars at Buffalo. Uh, Rex Ryan went on and said that Jacksonville is the best two-win team he's seen. So, there's that. Um, I'm going to take the Bills. I'm going to take the Bills on that one. Uh, Tennessee! Going to Chicago. I'm taking Tennessee. Jay Keller's out for the season. Uh, they have Brian Hoyer. Who could win this game? You have no idea. It's a wild card game. Just lost your starting quarterback that maybe not everybody really liked in the first place. You bring in the other guy... Tennessee will probably just assume that they're going to win this game, and they could easily just blow it in Chicago. But I'm going to take the Titans, just to be safe. Uh, Cincinnati at Baltimore. Who? There. Cincinnati. It's over. It is over. And Marvin, Will Marvin Lewis might be done as well. I don't know. This has been a bad season. They've played awful, and... Frankly, um, I'm taking the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, next, uh, the New York Giants go up against the Browns. You know what? I'm not even going to... Um, I'm not even going to make this pick. I'm going to let Wiley 2.0 take this pick because um, it doesn't even deserve my pick. I, I can't even do it. I can't even do it. That's a great pick, Wiley, 2.0. That's a great pick. Um, I agree with it wholeheartedly. And uh, Wiley 2.0 knows his business. Uh, moving forward, um, I'm just going to completely go through. I'm not even going to make it a big joke. Uh, hey, Jared. Um, this is not what you think. I'm this is what happens I'm when you don't this. film a lot. I'm out of this. When you're the only one that films. You don't film with... The rest of the crew takes a toll on you. You have to create new uh, co-hosts like Wiley 2.0. Don't be jealous, Jared. Did jealous. I see you slow dancing with that thing last night? Shh. We're talking about football. Anyways, moving forward. The LA Rams take on uh, the New Orleans Saints. And folks, let me tell you, the fact that these two teams have the same record is bizarre. Uh, one of these teams is just failing at the game of football, just in general. 
and the other one is on the up. And surprisingly, the team that is on the up is the New Orleans Saints. They've got an improving defense. Drew Brees has finally found his go-to guy in Michael Thomas, who is a stud, by the way. And um, I really think that even though Drew Brees is getting older, I like how this team is... I don't know, how their future looks. Drew Brees says he could play for at least five more years. I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. But I think uh, there's still several good years left in that arm of his. And in this team, they're going to get better. And they're going to be challenging for that division title. Not this year. I think they're just a little bit off. But next year, look out for the Saints. Uh, based off of that, I'm taking the Saints. The Rams are just terrible. They're just horrible if you watched them. Last week, if you've watched a Rams game, it is brutal. It's like watching a football team from the 1950s. It's just the worst. And they think they can, like, win games with, like, nine points. And, oh, Jeff Fisher is so done. Jared, you saw him on the sidelines the other game, right? This past week? He's a radical dude. He is so radical. Mm Mm-hmm. But I think he's gone. I think he's crazy. I think he's lost his mind. They're gonna fire me and be like, he's what? Wearing his Dude, hat what? backwards, like, come on, come man. on, bro, come on, man. this is L. A. Snoop Dogg was at the game. He was at the game, but uh, I don't think that changes uh, how I feel about Jeff Fisher and this team. They're terrible. He's not a good coach right now. Uh, right now, he used to be a good coach. I don't know what happened to him. Mr. 8-8. Eight eight. I don't even know if he's going to get to 8-8. Eight eight. I'm taking the Saints. Uh, 49ers at uh, Miami. Taking Miami. Now, don't bother with this. The 49ers are just a joke. At this point, I think I would take the Browns over the 49ers. Just saying. Uh, San Diego Chargers at Houston. I'm taking the Chargers. Houston, like I've said before, is the phoniest 6-4 and four team now after losing to Oakland. Really? And they blew that game. Um, but hey, Brock Osweiler is just horrible. So um, the Brock market crash, huh? 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 Oh, okay. Um, yeah. So I'm taking the Chargers. Seahawks at Tampa Bay. Okay, you know what? I gotta, I gotta move Wiley 2.0. I'm getting tired of putting my arm on his shoulder. He's gonna be right here. Uh, ah, Seahawks at Tampa Bay. As much as I want, I've, I've liked the way Tampa Bay plays. I, I like Jameis Winston. I like their roster. But I just don't I don't like how inconsistent they are. They're very inconsistent and they're going up against a team who is very dangerous, uh, who has all the momentum in the world right now in Seattle. I'm taking the Seahawks on the road moving forward. Carolina traveling to Oakland to play the Raiders. Uh, Raiders 8-2, the new number one seed in the AFC, which is pretty impressive for this young group. And, you know, I was talking, um, I was talking to a friend of mine about how, you know, he, he, he's a Chiefs fan, and he was saying how the Oakland Raiders are just so lucky they keep winning these games that they shouldn't win. And I told him, uh, he, it's like the antithesis of the Jags, the Jacksonville Jaguars, because, both teams have good rosters, and the, the Jags have a good roster, I'm telling you. Look at all the games that they've been in. They're right there in the fourth quarter, and I say it every time we talk, I talk about the Jaguars. They're right there in the fourth quarter, and then they blow it. They don't know how to finish a game. They don't know how to win it. Oakland knows how to finish the game. They know how to win a game. I don't know what it is that allows you to pick that up. I don't know if it's coaching or if it's quarterback play or I don't know. But the Raiders know how to win these close games, and um, I'm taking them again against Carolina. Carolina is a mess, and uh, Raiders move on to nine and two. Patriots at Jets. I'm taking the Patriots. Not going to analyze that, even though Fitzpatrick's back. Uh, Chiefs at Broncos. Huge Sunday night football matchup. Chiefs Broncos. I want to take the Chiefs, but then I watched this last week. And they laid the biggest dookie on my face by losing at home to the Buccaneers. It was shameful. This is why Alex Smith is the rule. 
He is neither bad nor good. He is the face of mediocrity. And it's why the Chiefs will never win a Super Bowl. They won't win a World Series either, but they're not going to win a Super Bowl with Alex Smith as their quarterback. You can put that in stone. And I don't want to hear this garbage on Facebook and Twitter about how Alex Smith doesn't get the respect he deserves and how he's a great quarterback because he's not. Finally, I'm taking the Broncos. Finally, I got the Packers at Philadelphia. I'm taking Philadelphia. The Packers are a gigantic mess. They've got injuries all over. Aaron Rodgers seemingly cannot control these guys and get them in order. If you can't listen to Aaron Rodgers, who's a great quarterback, an all-time great quarterback, then I this team is already lost and they're missing the playoffs. They're done. I'm taking Philly. I don't really like Philly too much. They're very up and down, you know, typical of a rookie quarterback led team. But I'm going to take Philadelphia at home on Monday night. Those are my picks. Thank you for tuning in to the Fast Break Kids. I am Wiley. Stay tuned. We got more videos coming. Uh, and have a wonderful, blessed Thanksgiving for Jared over here. Hey. For Wiley 2.0, reminding you guys to keep it fresh, keep it clean, and keep it fun. It's been the Fast Break Kids.